yeah, I mean, you hope that you get along really well with whomever you work with. And when you travel and you do so much press together, really, really well together. Her personality is so unique that I wanted to capture a lot of that in the character. There's, there's really no one else who could play the part. She had to be so many different things. Okay. I just think it's the most fun you can have at the movies. It's got so much going on in it. It's got action, suspense, terror, a lot of humor, a lot more humor than you would expect. Um... Uh, it's romantic. It's, it's a very it has a very lovely story, and it's got uh, great characters. It really is just like being on a roller coaster. You know, just strap your seatbelt in and just go along for the ride. And you know, another reason is most films are boring, and this one is definitely not boring. I can safely say that. You know, you're going to be out of there and think, I just had a crazy ass experience. Fantastico. Magnifico. Yeah, I mean, pretty early on through this, I, I kind of decided that I think this is all I want to do is make Grindhouse movies. There was so much fun working with these people and these actors, taking this stuff very seriously. It felt like there was so little pressure, and a lot of times the movies can be a lot of pressure to make. This felt like you could just really free yourself up creatively and just have great creative fun with the actors and that the result was going to be, you could already tell what the result was going to be. The result was going to be something that we'd be very proud of and that audiences would enjoy. I did sometimes get scared during the shoot when I would come out of, you know, my trailer to go to the makeup trailer and there'd be, you know, four dead bodies laying on the ground with their faces half off and their chests opened up with blood spattered everywhere. And everybody else is just stepping over them like it's a normal everyday thing. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? What have I landed myself into? And yeah, a lot of the times the you know infected people with their oozy sores, I was like, I was just I wanted them to go on acne medication. It was horrible, horrible. Have you ever thought about doing those kind of movies? No. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him. I told him I wanted to do a Jane Austen film, and would he do that with me? And he said, Sure, I'll do a Jane Austen film. Can there be some dead bodies? <laughs> I can barely watch those, much less make them. <laughs> I, I find things, some things I like. I mean, I like certain dramas and certain types of movies, but to watch more than to make. To make a movie is a lot more difficult. And uh, I choose projects that have a lot of challenges built into it to where I can learn a lot from, either in um, with new technology, with you know special effects, or with... Uh, the latest in camera gear and working with actors in a certain way and it's, and it's something that's very surreal I, I'm more into sort of surreal fantastical filmmaking all my movies have been that way they don't, they're not very realistic at all so realism to me it's, it's, a little, it's a little overrated it's a little stale you know, I, I kind of live in a dream world and so I like to take advantage of that if you live in a dream world you want a camera and you want to film it and you want to show it to people because that's not what the normal person sees well, I would do that. I would be a fantastic Scarlett O'Hara. And then I would lift up my petticoats and I would have a gun for a leg. Magnifico. <laughs> <laughs> He's very funny. He doesn't know who that is. Robert doesn't know who David Beckham is. Or, um, sure, why not? I mean, with the proper coaching, some people can be pretty good. You know, technical skill, but, um,. I don't know, maybe he'd make a great actor, and who knows, maybe I would be a fantastic uh, football player. Who knows what can happen in life?